Gail Sibley at the IAPS convention in Albuquerque, and I'm with Chris Ivers. Chris, you are very well known for your night scenes. How, how did you get there? Quite by accident, actually. Um, I had uh, been playing around in pastel for a very short while, and I was uh, actually at a restaurant one night where my daughters worked, and uh, it was raining, and anyone who knows me knows that I formerly had an advertising agency, and I had a very good camera on my hip, and it was raining outside, and when I came out of the restaurant, all I saw were all these reflected lights, cars, hubcaps, uh, sidewalks, the road, even the uh, center line of the uh, highway was reflecting color, and it was like, wow. And I ran across the street with the camera, and I found a, you know, uh, some kind of shelter, and I took two pictures. And when I came back to my house the next day and I downloaded them on my computer, I looked at it and I went, hmm, this looks really nice, I like this. And so I uh, painted that. And I had started out by painting on you know, some Wallace paper years ago, and I used to put uh, magenta underpaintings under, underneath there. And uh, I quickly found out that I was using a whole lot of dark pastel and thinking, okay, there's gotta be a better way to do this. And so I determined that if I worked on the uh, black surfaces first, I would have this instant gratification of putting on that strong yellow in that hubcap or that car or that street light. And it was like, whoa, I was off and running and I've never looked back. And I know that people think that's all I paint, uh, I do deviate here and there with landscapes and things like that, but I always wind up coming back to the night. I'm the queen of the dark, they call me. So I just, uh, I would encourage anybody to experiment with uh, surfaces and with uh, color and with different, you know, strata and different background colors because you might find a whole different path like I did. And uh, then you'll be hooked and you just become a pastel junkie like me. Great. <laughs> Thanks so much, Chris.